What do you want? What's up physique freaks, Coach Scott here. I'm about to walk you through a complete seven day meal plan to get you ripped after 40. I'm gonna share how to prepare every meal, the timing of each meal, how it impacts my body weight. Hope you find this video both informative and entertaining. If you do, please hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it and share your thoughts in the comment section down below. I've also made a PDF version of this meal plan available for download. You can either click it above or down below in the description and comment section. It's based on an 1800 calorie diet. You can easily modify it to suit your caloric needs by simply modifying the portion sizes. Let's get to it. Hey, let's do a quick little weigh in to see where I'm at at the beginning of following this full week meal plan. Rise and shine it is between 6.30, quarter to seven. Having a couple cups of coffee with just a tiny bit of almond milk in there. So it's right around eight o'clock, been up since 6.30, so I already had the two cups of coffee with just a little bit of unsweetened almond milk in there. Uh, before I bring Chief for a walk, uh, I'm going to enjoy my kefir shake. So this is a breakfast that I have just about every single day. There's one cup of kefir in there, homemade kefir, uh, one cup of unsweetened almond milk, one scoop of protein powder, an ass load of spinach, and a banana so I'm going to enjoy this it's I, I love having it every single day it fuels me with energy it's a great way for me to, to get my veggies in me so it is a whole lot of spinach in there um, I also like having a nice light breakfast so it's not sitting in my stomach but it provides me with a ton of energy it's just it's just become routine for me so I'm going to enjoy this and looking forward to the next part one of my favorite parts of the day bringing Chiefy Dog for a walk. Kind of enjoying bundling up here this morning, enjoying the cool, brisk morning air. Right, Chiefy Dog? Pee, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to enjoy my second meal of the day. It is about quarter to 12 right now. I'm sure Chief will probably steal a little bit of my gains here. He absolutely loves eggs. This meal is incredibly satisfying. It's gonna fill me up for, for a few hours here. Uh, next meal will be uh, a pre-workout meal. It's been a great day so far. I've been working away here at my stand-up desk with the morning and early afternoon. Mondays are the main check-in day with my one-on-one -on -one clients where we do a week in review. And coming up pretty soon will be my third meal of the day, the pre-workout meal. So we'll get to that next. Taking a little break from work to enjoy my pre-workout meal here so I've got 260 grams of plain Greek yogurt 140 grams of frozen berries and a little bit of cinnamon in here so gonna enjoy this and then be hitting the gym in about an hour just about four o'clock walking over to the gym for an upper body workout uh, no pre-workout drinks or anything like that tried using one for a couple months a few months probably about three months I guess I, it's, it's tough to say if it's even working, if it's doing anything, uh, let alone if it's worth the money, even if there are small gains involved, it would be very minute. So I've been taking a break from, uh, from all that. Who knows if I'll ever take a pre-workout supplement again. Freaking awesome workout, feeling empowered, heading home, gonna have, uh, scoop of creatine in warm water and prepare dinner. Gonna have some chicken stir fry tonight. Ooh, what are you yeah. smelling that? Oh, poor chief. Super excited to dive into this chicken fajita stir fry, one of my staple dinner meals that I have each week. So there is nine ounce chicken breast in here, 45 grams of basmati rice, measured dry and cooked in the rice cooker, and one and a half uh, peppers, red, yellow, orange pepper, uh, and half an onion, double it up, made dinner for two tonight. Uh, definitely, like I said, a staple, one of my favorites. I have this each and every week. Oftentimes I'll have it as leftovers the following day as well, or for lunch the following day.
Tuesday morning weigh-in coming in at 149.4, so down two pounds from yesterday. That's a, a bit misleading there. It's not like I dropped two pounds just from a 700 calorie deficit in one day. Uh, Sunday was a bit of a reefy day, cheat day kind of for me. Uh, some higher sodium foods, so uh, maybe holding on to a bit more water on the Monday morning weigh-in, plus a lot more food in my digestive system. So we'll see how things go each day coming out here uh, throughout the week. Tuesday morning, eight o'clock, out for a walk with my home dog chief here. Since I'm gonna be a bro on the go today, I thought I'd take an easy approach for dinner and throw a roast in the slow cooker. Best part, it was on sale. Can't beat that. Uh, so I got two cups of beef broth in there. I mixed in some spicy mustard as well as some Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce? Worcestershire sauce, however you wanna pronounce that. Um, I'm gonna be having half of that roast myself as well as half that sweet potato, which was 12 ounces. So I'll be having six ounces of that. Uh, half of that onion, there's some garlic in there as well. Seasonings on there, I got some rosemary, thyme, sage, uh, some kosher salt, and some ground black pepper, oh, some parsley as well. So really looking forward to devouring it at dinner. Should just fall apart. And that was a freaking incredible leg workout. Gave it everything I got, had a freaking blast. Gonna eat three of these little simple almond butter energy bites along with a glass of water with a scoop of creatine in it. The energy bite recipe was 180 grams of natural crunchy almond butter, one cup of oats, two scoops of vanilla protein powder, a teaspoon of vanilla, and then I just, uh, trickled on some water. It was definitely a bit dry at that point, so just added water to make sure it was moist, formed it into the balls, and put them in the freezer. Uh, that made nine of them, and I had three of those, which is over 500 calories. The details in the PDF down below in the comments section. It is just after five o'clock. I just added some broccoli to the, some frozen broccoli to the, um, the roast. So I'm gonna be cooking for about another hour here. Good morning, just about 7 a.m. Enjoying my second cup of coffee with a little bit of almond milk in there and watching Chief chase the neighborhood kitten around here. Um, had a great day yesterday. Ended up um, going on a beautiful evening walk with Chief and my daughter was taking some gorgeous pictures of the sunset. So that was a great evening. The roast was absolutely freaking delicious. Didn't eat anything after that. Didn't need anything after that. That was very filling. That was like 14 ounces of roast beef along with the uh, six ounces of sweet potatoes, onions, and broccoli. Lots of broccoli in there as well. Never mind, cheeky dog. Never mind. Wednesday morning weigh in coming in at 147.8, so down 1.6 pounds from yesterday. I had a great walk with Chief this morning, saw a little raccoon walking along the beach. Back now and about to enjoy my breakfast kefir shake. I'm gonna be having some smoked salmon for dinner tonight. So right now I am putting it in a brine. So one cup of brown sugar and a quarter cup of kosher salt, just coating it up and uh, gonna put it in the fridge, covered up in a Tupperware container for probably about six hours. <laughs> It's lunchtime, geese are going crazy out there. I'm about to devour six of these egg bites here. Uh, made with, the filling was six whole eggs, six egg whites, um, some seasonings. I used I think, paprika, black pepper, salt, or I forget what else I threw in there. Uh, fried up some spinach, red pepper, and mushrooms, and green onions, and then added in some um, fresh um, little cherry tomatoes and topped it off with a bit of mozzarella cheese so total for the six of these uh, so that makes that made 12 six of these is uh, 450 calories uh, absolutely delicious easy going so i had time to to prep this for my lunch here really in the oven for 20 minutes at 350 prep time was like maybe five minutes 10 minutes at the most uh, so now I have leftovers for another meal another day. A lot of times I'll make 24 of these, so I'll have them for a few days at a time. 
Just had 260 grams of plain Greek yogurt with the frozen berries along with a cup of raspberries. Watching the storm roll in here. Gonna be hitting the gym in about an hour. It is a push workout day. Looking forward to that. And the rain is starting to come. Back from an amazing push workout. Had an absolute blast with Rick and Mike. Right now drinking some water with the creatine in there. A little squirt of Mio in here as well. Got dinner on the smoker, so I took the salmon out of the fridge. It had been sitting in the brine for six hours. Uh, washed that off, had it sit on the countertop for about an hour and uh, slice up a potato. So that's a yellow flesh potato, 150 grams, as well as I think it's about 20 frozen Brussels sprouts. Gonna cook that on the smoker for about 25 minutes. Can't wait, absolutely delicious. Oh, top that salmon off with just a tablespoon of uh, some 100% natural maple syrup. Holy crap guys, this is freaking amazing. The salmon just cooked to perfection. So, so moist, so tender, so flavorful. Fries, Brussels sprouts, again, just cooked to absolute perfection. It was more like um, 20 minutes, between I think maybe 20, 22 minutes. Um, probably could have been taken off at the 20 minute mark. Um, absolutely freaking delicious. Quick and easy, mate just threw this on the freaking barbecue. The only work, the only prep was to throw that, that brine on top of the, the salmon and throw it in the fridge and then take it out, wash it off and put it on the, the smoker. The fries, I mean, I just cooked, I just cut up a potato. Big effortless to eat healthy like this. Ideally, I'd probably double up this recipe and, and have leftovers for the next day. Thursday morning, enjoying my cup of coffee here indoors it's a little bit rainy out there yesterday was the first night where i went to bed actually feeling that that slight little bit of hunger um, nothing ravenous or anything like that and this is really what i prefer to go uh, experience when i'm going through a cutting phase going to bed feeling that tiny bit of, of hunger um, knowing that i'm kind of suffering just that little bit there making those sacrifices to achieve my goal and then waking up in the morning feeling light Thursday morning weigh in coming in at it was kind of bouncing between 147.8 and 148 so exactly the same way I was yesterday morning maybe like a couple ounces heavier who knows what the reasoning is uh man like I said I I went to bed feeling a little bit hungry and I woke up feeling nice and light I was actually expecting a pretty dramatic drop today just based on how I, I feel. So I gotta say I was a little surprised to to see that number. This is a reason to, I mean, why don't you just take the scale weight with a grain of salt. It's feedback, I plot it on the chart and I just get on with my day, doing what I'm doing, focusing on the process, executing the plan, just as I've had laid out, I hit 1800 calories again yesterday. That's three days in a row of hitting 1800 calories. And like those first two days, I dropped 3.6 pounds. The next day, I just leveled off. It is what it is. It's all part of the process. It's all part of the journey. I try not to wrap my head too much around it. It could be a variety of reasons. I don't know if the salmon was a little saltier. I don't know if that I didn't relieve myself quite as much this morning as I did the day before. There could be a boatload of reasons. It's, it's a single weigh in. Um, it has no impact on me at all. What matters is what's going on the rest of the week. And I'm executing the plan to the best of my abilities, sticking to the script, having fun, enjoying the process, absolutely loving it. So let's get on with my first meal of the day, the shake. Out for the morning walk with Chiffy Dog there. We only got in one walk yesterday out of the norm. Usually try to get in a morning walk and an evening walk, uh, but the thunderstorms last night kept us indoors not so much the rain we definitely love walking in the rain uh, it's the thunder uh, as soon as he hears that thunder crack he just wants to sprint home so uh, rather than put him through the anxiety and stress we just stayed in and snuggled hopefully we'll get into walks today we'll see you got more thunderstorms coming up later my second meal for today is three of those egg mini bites that I made yesterday. So I had six left over. I'm eating three of them right now, as well as a bowl of oatmeal uh, with a diced up apple. So 
Honeycrisp apple that I picked from the local orchard a few days ago, and it's two third cup of oats, and I sprinkled a bit of cinnamon in there, so it's kind of like having an apple crisp without the butter and brown sugar and all that stuff. It's freaking delicious. Looking forward to devouring this. It's three o'clock. I'm about to enjoy some Greek yogurt, and then I'll be hitting the gym in an hour for a pull workout. I can't wait to get a solid pump on. I've got 45 grams of rice cooking in the rice cooker, uh, some asparagus on the steamer, some mushrooms and green onions on the frying pan that I will add to the rice. And I am gonna fry up a tuna steak. Can't wait for this, absolutely delicious. So I'm just gonna lightly coat it with a little bit of olive oil and then dab it in uh, on my plate that has some rosemary, thyme, sage, uh, fennel seeds, ground black pepper, and kosher salt and some parsley. So lots of flavor in there. Just gonna fry it up for about a minute and a half each side. I want the inside to be really pink and juicy. Friday morning, having my morning cup of coffee. No sunrise out today, but pretty, pretty calm out here. Should be a decent day. Uh, finished the day, hit my caloric target once again, right around 1800 calories. That tuna steak was done to perfection. Absolutely delicious. So that's four days in a row of hitting my caloric target. I'll be stepping on the scale pretty soon after I finish my coffees and um, relieve myself. I always hit the scale at the same time uh, each day. So. Looking forward to another day, hitting that target and staying on track. Friday morning weigh in, 146.8. So down 1.2 pounds from yesterday. I'm about to enjoy an egg salad sandwich on whole wheat bread. There's one tablespoon of mayo in there and some ground black pepper. Three o'clock, enjoying some Greek yogurt and berries again. Pre-workout meal, gonna be hitting the gym in an hour. It is leg day once again. Cooking some chicken parmesan on the smoker. Gonna have the recipe up above one of my favorite meals. Just a tiny bit of prep work, not too bad. Uh, definitely well worth it. Saturday morning, hit my caloric target yesterday once again, so that's five days in a row. I'll get on the scale, see what I'm weighing in at. Uh, all in all, feeling fantastic. Not feeling hungry much, like just going to bed, feeling that tiny bit of hunger, waking up feeling nice and light, and um, just satisfied. It's not been that much of a challenge, so aggressive 700 calorie deficit, but manageable. Weighing in at 146.6 this morning, so only down 0.2 pounds, but I have yet to have a bowel movement this morning, which is very untypical. Typically, I have my two cups of coffee and shortly afterwards have my movement and then I step on the scale. Um, so a little other than ordinary this morning, I'm plotting that feedback, taking all of this into consideration, documenting all. So I'm not, no emotion tied in this scale weight because like, I should be looking at the hitting my target from yesterday. I should be down in weight, but eh, there's so many different factors that come into play. We're looking at trends and not putting a whole lot of weight into one single number. <laughs> Chief in the background there, it is just about four o'clock and having an early dinner, we're gonna be heading out to Point Pelee. The monarch butterfly migration is going on right now. So hopefully we see thousands of them today at Point Pelee, our national park, the southernmost tip of Canada. Uh, so the, the stuffed peppers made 14 halves. There was 600 grams of 
lean ground pork, 600 grams of lean ground beef, fried that up, fried up some mushrooms, onion, and then added that into a pot with the ground beef, mixed that up with a can of diced tomatoes. I'll have the whole ingredients in the PDF down below. Um, you can look into that. We had the rice cooking in the slow cooker on the side. Um, so there's one cup of rice measured dry. Um, and then combine that into the pot, stir it up, let it simmer, um, some seasonings and stuff in there. And then cut the peppers in halves, fill them with the, the filling, put them in the oven at 375 uh, for I think about half an hour and pull them out, put some mozzarella cheese on top and put them in the oven for a few more minutes and devoured them freaking delicious. Sunday morning, getting ready to rush around for the Lions game and completely forgot to weigh in before I had my breakfast shake. So not gonna be weighing in today, it'd be skewing the readings anyways. So sorry about that. We'll see where I'm at tomorrow after uh, after kind of letting loose and relaxing on my diet just a bit today with staying within reason. Ooh, baby on the track, I'm going room, room. Try and catch me when I pull up in a zoom, zoom. Monday morning weigh in coming in at 147.4, so up less than a pound from the Saturday morning weigh in. Uh, this is freaking awesome, especially considering that I was at the Lions game yesterday, enjoyed a burger from Wahlburgers, enjoyed a few beers, enjoyed that delicious uh, bacon wrapped chicken loaf yesterday. Um, and that was a late dinner. I didn't eat that until it was close to eight o'clock uh, by the time I got home and had that dinner. So that is, chances are, that is still sitting in my stomach and the 147.4 is probably a false high reading. Um, I'm sure there's still some some food in that digestive system that still needs to come out. So it is what it is. Again, I plot it on the course. I really couldn't be happier starting the week uh, without seeing that huge jump in weight after the weekend, really prefer to kind of keep things in check to enjoy myself, to have little indulgences, um, but not to stuff myself silly, not be gluttonous and not have to feel like for the next few days, I got to kind of undo that damage that I had for the weekend. This is, I just get right back on course here. I should have a phenomenal week. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the alert button so you're notified each time I upload a video. Before you go, don't forget to download the PDF version, the sample meal plan so you have it readily, readily available, can follow it all the time, help you achieve your goal of getting ripped after 40. Hope you have yourself an absolutely amazing day. Catch you in the next video.